Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure Cassandra 5 version that is the latest one on Ubuntu Linux operating systems. Open any web browser, then go to Cassandra official website that is cassandra.apache.org. Hit enter. See the latest version is Cassandra 5.0. Click on documentation, then expand this Cassandra. Then getting started, then click on installing Cassandra. See, Apache Cassandra can be installed on a number of Linux distributions. Arma Linux, Amazon Linux, Debian, RHL, Suzuki Linux and Ubuntu. Okay, scroll down. See, the prerequisites are OpenJDK 11 or OpenJDK 17. And another prerequisite is Python version between 3.8 to 3.11. This is most important because CQLSH won't work if it is Python 3.12 or 13. Okay. So, for Ubuntu Linux versions 24 or 24, 24.04 or 24.10 will come with Python 3.12. So, this won't work. So, you have to keep that in mind. Okay, I am on Ubuntu 22. Let us verify the Python version. Give the Python 3. See, Python version is 3.10. It is in the range between 3.8 to 3.11. Okay. Control G to quit. Now verify the Java version. Java hyphen version. See, we don't have Java. So, install it. OpenJDK 11 or 17. So, install OpenJDK by just by just running this command copy it paste it hit enter provide the password of sudo user type for confirmation and hit enter We have successfully installed. Let us verify Java hyphen version. See, we have installed OpenJDK 17. So, both prerequisites Java and Python matched. Now, we have three methods to install Cassandra on Linux operating systems. First one by using Docker image. Second one by using Tarball binary. Third one by using package installation. Okay. If you scroll down, this is with Docker. This is with Tarball method. And here we will find Debian package. See, this is the method that we are going to use to install Cassandra 5.0 on Ubuntu. See here it is 5x. 5x means version number 5.0. 4.0, if you give 40x, it is version number 4. Okay. I am going to add the repository. Copy this command up to here. Copy it. Okay. So, see here 50x means Version number 5.0. Okay. Paste it. Use the sudo at the start. Otherwise, if you throw error, you have to give sudo. Hit enter. It is success. Now we have to add this Cassandra keys. Okay. Copy it. Copy this one. Again, use sudo. Paste it. Hit enter. See call command not found, so install call sudo apt install call hit enter this type of we have installed call now paste the same again by using sudo paste it hit enter is done you want to see the result here you will find the same like that okay now we have to update the package index sudo apt get update see here we have the cassandra control l now install the cassandra okay so just on the command sudo apt get install 
Cassandra. Hit enter. See, we have successfully installed Cassandra 5.0. Control L. We can refresh the logs by going to this path. Okay. So next step is we have to check the status of Cassandra. Okay. By using this command that is node tool status. Okay. This is expected. So we have to run sudo systemctl daemon reload. Hit enter. Now verify the status, not tool status. Okay, see status is up and down. Okay, control L to clear screen. You can also verify sudo systemctl status Cassandra. Give the tab. Hit enter. See Cassandra service is running. You to quit. Control L to clear screen. Now connect to Cassandra by using the command cqlsh see this is not cassandra version this is cqlsh version okay and this is the version of the cassandra server okay and this is the cluster name that is test test cluster and this is the ip and this is the port number so we have successfully installed let us create key spaces and work we go to the cassandra query language definitions data definition see these are the sample you can go through the documentation and you can practice so to create key space we have to use this command like create key space then we have to provide the key space name and these are the options okay later i am going to use the same this is with replication and topology simple strategy here Topology, network topology status, DC1, DC2, etc. Okay. So, paste it. Hit enter. To get list of key spaces, we have to run describe key spaces. See, these are the key spaces. Except this key space. These are the default key spaces comes with Cassandra. If you want to get more information about this particular key space we have to give describe key space then give key space name put semicolon see this is the key space to switch to key space we have to run this command and if you want to change properties of the key space we have to use the alter key space command okay so let us switch to this key space use xc give the tab to auto fill hit enter c we are in this key space okay now create tables in that key space by using this command okay so copy it hit enter now now create another key space for just a demo purpose i am showing you it is done enter see here we have the different examples for the key space like alter key space drop key space create table alter table drop table and truncate table okay you can insert data here we have the lot of information see with this simple command first it will create the table then with these commands it is going to insert data copy all the examples paste it hit enter now verify the data select star from t see this is the data okay see we have different examples and the properties and uh, column definition definitions and everything is here okay we want to see the data manipulation click on here See, we have the select statements, data definition, where clause and all. You can practice that, okay. If you want to see the tables, describe 
tables. See, these are the three tables that we have created. Okay. So, last step is exit. Now, we will see how to stop, start and restart Cassandra 5.0 service on Ubuntu. sudo systemctl stop Cassandra. Cassandra is the service. Click enter. Let us verify the status. See, Cassandra is stopped. Also, we can verify node tool status. See, failed to connect to Cassandra. Okay, because it is stopped. Now, even, even if you try to connect with SQLSH, we are unable to connect. So, start it sudo systemctl start Cassandra. Now, verify the status. Still, it is loading. Wait some time. See, Cassandra is active and running. We can connect to it. SQLSH. See, we are able to connect. Exit. Now, verify again. Node to status. See, it is up and down. Okay. Now, we will see how to restart the Cassandra service. Simply use the same command sudo systemctl. Just give restart and provide the service. Hit enter. It will the status. It is restarted 7 seconds ago. Now, it will node tool status. Okay, it is done. Okay, so in this video, we have seen how to install and configure Cassandra 5.0 on Ubuntu operating systems. For more Cassandra tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.